In this example, we will demonstrate how job scheduler jobs can be executed parallel to one another. Here we have two jobs, P1 and P2, that are to be run asynchronously in parallel. This means that job 4 should start immediately after P1 has been completed and does not have to wait on P2. First of all, we will configure the jobs. We have a total of four jobs divided across two job chains. All of the jobs execute ping commands so that they can be clearly seen to be running in the demonstration later on. The pings are configured to last either 10 or 20 seconds depending upon the job. After we have configured the jobs, we add the two job chains. Job chain 1 comprises the nodes job 1, job P1 and job 4. Finally, we need to add the missing end nodes for this job chain. Job chain 2 contains only one job, P2, which is to be run in parallel to job P1. We have to add the missing end nodes here too. We will start job chain 1 with an order for this chain which, for example, runs each day at a particular time. in this example at 10 o'clock. Now we have to ensure that job chain 2 is started after job 1 in job chain 1 has been completed. We use the jobs commands attribute to do this adding the sample1 job chain 2 order in the event of job 1 being completed successfully. We can now see our setup running if we go over to Job Scheduler Operations Center Jock. Here we see the order for job chain 1. and we start the order. Now we see that job P1 from job chain 1 has started and at the same time job P2 is running in parallel to it. Job chain 2 has been started by a new order here it is number 7 which was generated by job 1 Number 7 is a new order that was generated by job 1. Job 4 will start immediately after job P1 has finished. Job 4 does not wait for job P2 com to complete before it starts. Now we will show how the jobs can be run synchronously. This means that job 4 will only be started once job P2 has also been completed. To do this, we add a so-called synchronized job. 
to the job chain. We can select this synchronized job from the list of jittled jobs. The synchronized job is inserted into the job chain at the points that are to be synchronized. In our example, this is after the execution of the jobs P1 and job P2, respectively. Both job chains will now only proceed when at least one order is found at both sync nodes. This means that each order will wait on the execution of the other one. We will now restart our example with the additional sync nodes, one in each job chain. An order for job chain 2 is generated as before and is now running, with jobs P1 and P2 running in parallel. The difference is now that when job P1 ends, job chain will wait at the sync node until job P2 has finished and job chain 2 also reaches the sync node. The orders will only proceed when the sync nodes in both chains are reached. The order in job chain 2 will then take the success rate and the order in job chain 1 will proceed to process job 4 before both orders are finally completed.